So, Lisa, I have brought you a 1977 vintage photo album. It was my very first photo album I ever put together, and I've got issues. The photos are stuck in this part of it, and I am afraid I'm going to lose these photos. What, what do I do? The best case scenario is that the adhesive dries up and your photos, you can peel off easily. One trick, if they're, they're already fairly loose, uh, we sometimes uh, take dental floss, unwaxed, unflavored, uncolored. If you pull it slowly behind the pictures, assuming that they're already starting to lift off, that can be a nice way to, to peel them out. You could scan the pages, you know, then you could go back and do color correction on individual pictures. So this is, isn't archival material to keep these for longevity. You have some other things here yeah, that you like to you use, do, don't you? When you do take your photos out of an album, the next question is what are you going to put them into? Envelopes are a possibility, um, archival sleeves are a possibility. I mean basically what you're looking for with these things is you're looking for polyester based plastics. Polyester is, is chemically inert. It's stable. So long term you can put a picture in this and the polyester is not going to yellow, it's not going to become brittle. Then the question is how do you label things? With photos up to like the 60s, 70s, photos are printed on a fiber-based paper. So to write on the back lightly with pencil is, is really easy to do. But it's when you get to like the 70s, 80s, 90s, you have the coated photo papers that are very difficult. If you get a softer lead pencil at an art supply store, you can write on them in pencil and still, you know, get something clear and readable. Now you have an album that you have made, this is your album. This is really nice because I used photo corners so I could easily get these out if, if I want to. Um, I can write on the pages so it was readable. Um, it's acid-free paper and then also um, uh, polyester-based plastic sleeves. You haven't taken it so complicated. Some of these scrapbooking places are so complicated. Whereas here, it's very simple. You have a description of a photograph and maybe some names with people that you know. And that's really all you need to do, isn't it? For the purposes of preservation, yes. A lot of scrapbooks include a lot of stickers and adhesives. And like you can see with, with this, um, adhesives fail over time. And being an archivist, being a museum curator, I tend to think of time in terms of decades and centuries. I'm not just concerned, is it going to be okay in a couple of years? Is it gonna be okay in 20, 30, 40 years? Well, Lisa Wood, thank you very much for giving us a primer on how to store our photographs for not just now, not just another generation, but maybe 50 to 100 years to come. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.